Hello, people. Um, yeah, we're taking a drive. So you get to ride with me while I tell my little story. Uh, <laughs> well, yesterday I came down with the flu, right? Now, I could chalk this up to the flu. Something was going on. Regardless, um, it was not <laughs> an experience that I would wish upon anyone. Now that I think back, uh, my reaction to it was a little um, unorthodox, I suppose. <laughs> uh, I was laying in my bed because I was throwing up really bad. Um, stomach flu, I guess it's going around. It lasts for about a day or so uh, with v bad, violent puking and all fun stuff. Uh, try to drink water. Okay. My body's just like, nope. Mm -mm, no, no, I don't want any of that. No, no. no. Um, every single time I would just, it would gag reflex and I was at the toilet. It was pretty bad. But anyways, so I'm laying in my bed and this, uh, I dozed off. I must have because I hadn't slept very long. Uh, the previous night and uh, I don't remember dreaming much and I usually have pretty vivid dreams uh, I've had problems with sleep paralysis when I was growing up just putting it out there I was not paralyzed during this instance and uh, yeah so I'm laying on my right side towards uh, the boyfriend's side of the bed and I opened my eyes for some reason and you know I, I see the side of you know facing my boyfriend's side of the bed and the wall and the, the you know the tree I have a ficus tree in the corner in our room and uh, <clears throat> the nightstand and the light was on and the light was on over on my side as well. And I opened my, I opened my eyes, and there's this thing, a face. Yes, a face. Nothing like I've ever experienced before, to tell you the truth. Uh, it was bald. This thing was bald. It was all like white, like unworldly pale white skin right up in my face uh, black beady eyes and no nose that I can recall seeing uh, <laughs> the mouth was um, I guess it's a mouth uh, it's more or less a hole uh, not not uh, uh, I guess not what uh, you would expect from a human being. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Uh, if this was something that came out of my subconscious. I've never experienced anything like this before. Um, but it was right in my face. Pale. I mean, this this thing. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, I got a creeps thinking about it right now. Uh, but when I initially opened up my my eyes and saw this thing that was like creeping. He was totally creeping. He was creeping up on me. I was like, I remember saying, oh, it's you. Get out of here. And I like, boom, with my hand on, you know, on his forehead. Just like smack. And I remember it was like a smack, like you would hit like a watermelon smack. Uh, you know, uh, kind of a hollow, weird sounding surface uh but it was clammy cold and clammy it was it i could feel it on the meat of my hand i'm left-handed and so you know i just on his forehead just like oh it's you get out of here you know uh i don't know how to explain it it felt colder, clammy skin, like a 
really clammy. I mean, not like cold, like if you were to pluck a chicken, you know, and, uh, you know, have a piece of stored in the fridge that you could put your hand down on it and it feels that cold. But it, it was like slapping a, a featherless chicken or, or, or turkey head or something that's been out in the cold or something. Um, it was fleshy because my I could feel it on the, my hand and oh my god yeah I just I just I see when I opened my eyes I saw it and I was just like oh it's you as if I knew what it was I, I've never seen this thing before so was I in a delirium type state maybe and then that's for you guys to decide because I don't know what I saw but this thing I just smacked it boom in the forehead oh it's you get out of here you know just kind of like push it away or whatever and it just and then after it happened I closed my eyes and then I like opened my eyes again and started looking around the room like whoa 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 wait a minute my eyes were open I remember seeing that you know I I was I was legitimately awake um god dang I don't know what it was all I know is it's messed up uh, <laughs> and when I think about it what it looked like this white face I mean it was like so white that it was almost like uh, I don't want to say like a, a, a like a transparent blue but um, as if it was like I don't know if it was its veins that you could see. I mean, I don't remember seeing any veins. Um, it, it wasn't like a bruise. I, I it, The skin was like a milky, you know, like a milky white. And it was just like, I, I don't, I don't know. I, honest to God, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Uh, it didn't do anything but get right in my face. And that was way too close for my personal space. I, I've got a bubble. You don't come in my bubble. I don't care who you are. I love you, but even my son is just like right in my face. I'm like, dude, you're in my bubble. No, you gotta back up. Back up. You can't be my bubble. This thing was definitely just getting into my bubble. And I just remember looking at it and thinking, oh, it's you. And, uh, and, and smacking it, like pushing it away, you know, like get out of my face and uh, you know, get out of here I was too sick uh, at the time um, to deal with anything like that uh, uh, I've had uh, some uh, bad experiences I suppose in uh, my past which maybe I'll delve into at some point in time on my channel um, I'm going to try to boot off the new year with something a little bit different. Um, I've been going with just blogs right now to sample to see how people would react for certain things. Just random things. Uh, I'm not monetized, so it's not no big thing for me. Um, so I, I uh, you know, I'm, I'm working on a, a dialogue piece right now for a storyline. I have it done. I need somebody to help me with the editing because uh, I do not have, um, I got to figure some stuff out on my computer. Something's going on. And my son keeps on downloading some uh, of his games on here. So it, it's very off topic or it's not necessarily me. It is my son. I explained to him that he can't be doing that. And he must have forgotten. He did it anyways. Um, he's got to just chill and stop doing that. He can load up a, a channel if he wants to on YouTube, kids. Um, my channel will be uh, more or less adult content, not geared for kids. Um, and if the kids uh, can't handle that, well then, that's not my deal. But anyways, um, yeah, I just thought I'd share that because uh, I don't want to get in anybody's 
Uh, I'm at the school. I don't want anyone's, you know, license plates getting up on here or anything like that because I don't want to be like getting in the way. I can't fucking do anything, man. Oh, excuse my language. I'm going to have to edit that out. Sorry. Um, probably not going to edit that out. I'm going to get in trouble. But anywho, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I know what I saw. I can't explain it. I don't know what it is. Uh, I do dream interpretations and uh, I've never had something like this per se. Uh, sleep paralysis is way different than what I just experienced. Uh, as a few know, I've had an, an instance that developed or developed when I was uh, in discord. Um, with uh, my people and I'm shouting them out to the Z Horde uh, and to Zombified. Love you guys. Um, I have no idea what that thing was in the attic um, but after someone took a uh, one of my pictures that I was I was doing random snap pictures uh, of this uh, as it was going down I just saw it open. It was not opened by me nor anyone else. Um, there was actually no, uh, ladder that's tall enough to be able to get up there in the garage. And you definitely need a tall ladder to get there. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was, but somebody, uh, zoomed in and sure enough, there was, um, <clears throat> uh, it, it still makes me cringe. Um. While we're talking on Discord, I see the picture that she sent in. Creepy calendar. I just can't get the image out of my head. Uh, and by the way, go check her channel out because it's really awesome. She's a great uh, writer. She does poetry. Um, and she does voice acting as well. Um, but anyways... Uh, I don't know what that was, but it damn near looked like something that was like staring back at us. Uh, and it kept moving. It moved from left to right to left to, uh, I don't know. It just, it wasn't right. It didn't match with, you know, anything that was, uh, it could be explained in the garage and the fact that it was doing what it was doing <laughs> during, uh, People that were were praying and, and doing uh, other type of uh, rebuking um, rituals to get this thing out after they saw that picture. But um, I haven't really had any problems. We sealed it up and is no longer sealed anymore. I mean, uh, open. Sorry. It's not open anymore. I'm paying attention to it. You know, like, come in here. I don't want to get any kids on here. So you're going to look at the door while I tell my story. Uh, it hasn't really uh, showed itself, we'll just say. I tried multiple times afterwards uh, with uh, photography to see if I couldn't do some quick clicks. And, you know, I do a series just back to back, random clicks to see if anything shows up and nothing showed up. Uh, it's messed up. I'm sorry, but it's messed up. Um, that kind of creeped me out a little bit because I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to see, but I didn't expect to actually get anything. And so yeah, I picked something up. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know what it was. It wasn't supposed to be there. That's all I know. Um, it was just creepy. And I tried to bunking. I uh, tried, you know, taking pictures of some random things that might be the cause. And it was unavail. Uh, I have yet to figure that one out. But anyways, peace, y'all. Have a good day. My son's here. Bye. <laughs> as you can hear. I'll catch y'all later in the Bye. next one. Bye. And make sure to like and subscribe to that, the video. <laughs> <laughs> Just Thanks. to support my mom. <laughs> Ciao, everyone. Bye.